The extravagant life of Dubai royal family When you think of Dubai your mind just fills up with the riches of the city, the tallest building in the world, Palm Islands, and the only seven-star hotel in the world. But let's take a look inside the life royal family of Dubai. His Royal Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, leads the Al Maktoum family, the royal and reigning dynasty of Dubai. Despite the fact that he and his royal family are adored by inhabitants of Dubai and the UAE, many people outside of the nation know nothing about them other than the fact that they are incredibly wealthy. Follow us into their palace gates. The Al Maktoum family is descended from the Bani Yas tribe, who were the most powerful and strategic of the familial clans in ancient Arabia. They lived in what is now the United Arab Emirates. Around 800 members of the Al Maktoum family split off from the main Bani Yas family in 1833, taking control of the Emirate or province of Dubai and establishing themselves as the reigning dynasty. Since then, the Al Maktoum family has dominated Dubai and has established themselves as the royal dynasty, with the title of Sheikh loosely translating to King. The Sheikh of Dubai is now the UAE's Vice President, as well as the country's de facto Prime Minister and Defence Minister. Dubai's current ruler, Highness of the King Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum was born in 1949 and succeeded his elder brother as ruler of Dubai in 2006. He is now the Emirate of Dubai's 13th official sheikh. He has managed to make Dubai into the world-renowned superpower it is today, while simultaneously investing in infrastructure, schools, charities, and international events to attract even more specialists and immigrants to the city. His family is also well known, owing in part to his dashing and oldest son, Crown Prince Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum, affectionately known as Faza by his followers and the name he uses on his Instagram account when he uploads his popular love poems. Although the ruler of Dubai's elder offspring is younger, they are nonetheless well known owing to the Sheikh's prominent Instagram account. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has six wives, which explains why he has so many children. His most recent wife is Princess Haya bin Hussein, the daughter of Jordan's King Hussein. A graduate of Oxford University, an accomplished equestrian, and a fashionista, she is one of the Sheikh's most followed family members on social media. The royal family of Dubai has remained popular due to their unique approach of maintaining a personal touch with the city's citizens through social media and regular appearances at restaurant events. They may even be seen walking in public or driving about downtown Dubai, despite their riches, they have managed to maintain a modest demeanor in the eyes of their people and are committed to public concerns in Dubai and the UAE. With the rise of the city and social media, many people are keeping an eye on the royal family to see what new age the present sheikh and his young son Prince Hamdan will usher in for the world's most unique metropolis, Dubai. Sheikh Mohammed is a huge admirer of horse and camel racing, and after the UAE national football team won the Golf Cup, he and his family presented the squad with a gift of $24 million. He's also a key player in thoroughbred horse racing and breeding, as the owner of Dali Stud, the world's largest horse breeding enterprise. The Sheikh also owns Dubai's largest boat, which is 162 meters long and can accommodate 155 people, making it the world's third largest yacht. Despite the fact that Sheikh Mohammed, who is also the former king of Dubai, has been involved in several litigations, most of them have been settled out of court through monetary settlements. The family owns a number of high-end homes, including a state-of-the-art Emirates Hills house in one of Dubai's most prestigious gated communities, dubbed the Beverly Hills of the city. This gigantic residence not only occupies two house plots but also covers a total area of 32,000 square feet. The property has two kitchens, a Buddha statue in the main hall, a private gym with cardiovascular machines, and a home office. The downstairs guest suite features a big parlor, private patio, and bathroom, as well as a lift that allows you to bypass the grand staircase altogether and go straight to the five bedrooms, each of which has its own walk-in closet, private steam room, and full bathroom. There's a rooftop bar, sun deck, and huge hot tub with views over the Montgomery Golf Course and Dubai Marina. 
Just when you thought we were done, this house has a big basement with two more bedrooms, a television room, and an entrance to the sunken garden outside. In the grounds, there is a big swimming pool with underwater speakers, as well as parking for five cars and lodging for a guard, housekeeper, and three maids. The entire cost of this ridiculous piece of Dubai real estate was approximately $50 million. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum made headlines in 2010 after spending a fortune on the opulent La Belle Epoque apartment in Monaco, which cost roughly $323 million. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum made headlines in 2010 after spending a fortune on the opulent La Belle Epoque apartment in Monaco, which cost roughly $323 million. It's one of Monaco's most prestigious penthouses. It has a double-height library, wall-mounted movie screens, enormous walk-in closets, a leisure area, a media room, and a jacuzzi room with a personal spa. The expansive roof terraces include beautiful sea views, as well as mature 15-foot trees and an infinity pool. A panic bunker with reinforced glass and monitoring cameras are among the penthouse's extensive security features. The 17 plus 500 square foot penthouse, which is located on the top two levels above three private banks that occupy the first four floors of the historic La Belle Epoque building, is not only the largest and possibly the most stunning in Monaco, but it is also in one of the most sought after districts. And when it comes to the automobiles driven by this family, you'll be envious. You haven't lived until you've seen the prince in his Mercedes G Class motoring about Dubai. Sheikh Mohammed frequently forgoes taxis and limos in favor of driving himself about town and has been seen on several occasions taking a leisurely solo spin around the Alcura Lakes. In early 2016, his son, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed, the Crown Prince, captured the Sheikh in a selfie while riding the London Underground. Yes, for an oyster card and a journey on the Central Line, the ruler of Dubai sued armored cars and private choppers. We give a big thumbs up to a royal who doesn't mind rubbing shoulders with commuters. Gone are the days when the lifestyles of royal families in the Middle East were kept secret under the guise of rigorous procedure, things have changed for the better in today's digital era, where knowledge is just a click away. Royals no longer live in isolation from the people they govern, instead of adopting modern ideals and sharing their formerly secluded life with the rest of the world via social media. The Crown Prince of Dubai, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Rashid Al Maktoum, is embracing life to the fullest. He is the face of Dubai and the family in the eyes of his 11.4 million Instagram followers. Sheikh Hamdan has shown an affinity for the extreme outside of his professional duties, he is a skyscraper jumper, as proven by his Instagram feed, and he also likes diving jetpacks and zip lines. Sheikh Hamdan's enthusiasm for horses is apparent as an Emirati, and the most likely owns over 1,000 of them across the world, after all, he is an award-winning horse rider. He has about 120 camels on his estate, as well as huge cats that he supposedly likes playing with, as the namesake of the Dubai Crown Prince Camel Festival. He is also an avid global traveler who has his own chartered jet that takes him to various parts of the globe which is where his passion for photography comes into play. With so much money to spend, it's no surprise that Sheikh Hamdan has a collection of high-end automobiles in his garage. He owns an amazing collection of six amphibious automobiles known as the Python as a thrill seeker. He has an incredible collection of tanks that he can drive throughout Dubai's enormous deserts. He also owns a Ferrari F12 Berlinetta and a Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitessa. Sheikh Hamdan also owns an incredible amount of golden automobiles, including a Lamborghini, a Range Rover, a Bentley Bentayga, and a full fleet of Rolls-Royce motors, which comes as no surprise. His father gave him a boat that is thought to be the third largest in the world. He presently serves as the head of the Dubai Executive Council, the Dubai Autism Center, and the Dubai Sports Council. In all of these responsibilities, his top objective is to promote Dubai as a world-class metropolis. Thanks to all of the advantages he has had, he continues to come up with fresh ideas to address societal concerns in Dubai and the UAE. 
Despite their riches and celebrity, the family has had its fair share of scandals. Princess Latifah attempted to leave by sea first, almost reaching India before being deported. Then Princess Haya Sheikh Mohammed's public wife refused to return from England, and now the Sheikh is suing her over their children in court. That concludes the video folks, let us know about your thoughts in the comments section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe to our channel with bell notifications so you don't miss out on our future uploads. Until next time, have a good day.